this is Allison. We're gonna do a lesson on Big Mouth Strikes Again by the Smiths today. You're gonna need a capo on the fourth fret and the guitar is tuned to standard. So here's the main riff. start with an A minor shape and strumming down, down, up. You're going to do that three times. Then move to a C chord with the pinky down on the first string, third fret. take that shape up a whole step. So that was the pinky on and off. So again, it's down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Then when we get to the C, down, up, down, 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 up. Moving up. That's the first part of the main riff. Now the second part starts out the same. With three times on down, down, up. But then we're gonna go to a different chord. It's an F chord without the sixth string. Barring on strings one and two, and then second finger on the third fret, second string, third finger on the fifth string, third fret, and then pinky right underneath it on the fourth string, third fret. Then remove the bar so that the first string is ringing out open, which makes it an F major seven. G chord with all four fingers. So we're on frets three and two, and three and three. Down, down, up, down, down, up. So the second half of the main riff sounds like this. So there's the whole main riff that happens for most of the song. So the next part is the guitar solo. Here's how I do it. And you repeat that four times. So we're starting on the ninth fret, the ninth actual fret, not the, the ninth fret from the capo. I use fingers two and three on strings three and two. Strum it one time. Then the third finger lifts off, the second finger, whoops, the second finger goes down a half step to the eighth fret and the first finger comes around to the fifth fret. So that's, and then this moves down another whole step to the fifth and the sixth fret. Each of these is one strum, one, 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 and then you add up, down, up, and then take it off, open, third and second strings, back down. So that's the first phrase. So there's four phrases. That's the first one. The second one is same, same exact thing. But then, your pinky comes to the seventh fret. So once, and then open once. And you can strum the strings three, two, and one for that. So that second phrase is. 
Here's the third phrase. Starts out the same. Moves to the seventh and eighth frets, then back down to the fifth and sixth. So that third phrase is. Sometimes I do a little slide. And then the fourth phrase, you stay here on the fifth and sixth frets. two, then lift off for one strum, then put it back down. And then again with the pinky on and then off. So that fourth phrase is so all together phrases one through four. Start it over from the top and you do it a total of four times. And that's the solo. Okay, so the next part is what I call the interlude. It sounds like this. Okay, so it starts with an E minor chord. I'm gonna let that ring out for six beats. Then a D chord, one strum. And then remove your second finger to make it a D sus two chord. Back to an E minor chord. Then an F. And then a G. So in time, it sounds like this. did on the F and the G was down, up, down, 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 up, something like that. I, I kind of change it every time. Then we go up here to the 11th fret 5th string and put a minor bar chord down. So you're on 11, 13, 13, and 12, and then barring it. Okay, so then down, down, Lift the pressure off so that you can do some muted strums. Down, up, down, up. Then put it back down. Down, down, up, down, down. Two more muted strums. Back to the D chord. Two strums. Straight back here. Down, 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 up, down, up, muted. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, muted again. So it's actually the same thing. But this time, instead of going down to D, we're going right here to the 12th and 14th frets, barring at the 14th fret on strings four, three, and two. Taking that chord shape, moving up a whole step. And I often do 16th notes, down, up, down, ups, which then leads back to the main riff, as all of them do. All right, those are all the parts to Big Mouth Strikes Again. Again, I'm Allison. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, be sure to check out my YouTube channel for more Smith's videos. Bye.